I want to show you something very, very old on how to attain a good level. Um, I've used this, you wouldn't believe, on how many things. I've used it, I used to have a contractor's license in the state of Florida for uh, blocking and tying mobile homes. So I would have to level, you know, up to 80 feet of cinder block underneath an I-beam. And then I'd have to, if it was a double wide, that's a lot of piers that all have to be the same level. I've also used it on fences. I've used it to build decks. I've used it to build a uh, one bedroom, one bath rental house. This is so convenient. It's a water level. And, you know, today we like to use transits, but this method is bulletproof. I really like it. You can use anything. You can use a milk jug. You can use a, uh, this was a, a for oil. Um, you could even use a, a five gallon bucket and I'll show you how in a minute how to do that. But I think you're going to like this. The, the thing that it really overcomes though is the length of a level. I mean the longest level that you're going to find is probably seven, eight feet at the most, which isn't convenient to hang around. This, you're going to like this. Let me show you how it works. The first thing I do is I just go to, you know, the store and I pick up a couple of Kool-Aid packets. I want something that's uh, a dark color. I like grape. And I put it in my container. And you want kind of a large container, but I, like I said in the past, I've used milk containers. I've used uh, five-gallon buckets. And they don't even have to be see-through. It's helpful, but they, they really don't. Now, I'll show you. But all we do is dump in a bunch of uh, coloring and then add water. And then I'll show you next what I'm going to do. All right, after I've added the water and, and stirred it up, what I like to do is I'll put this in an area that's out of the way. <clears throat> and I'll make a platform. And I'm not gonna quite level it yet, but because once I fill my uh, hose up with the liquid, it's gonna change the level. But I want this where it's not gonna get knocked over, where I can uh, have wheelbarrows come in if I need to. Uh, but close and I just get this out of Lowe's or Home Depot or, or pretty much anywhere and one of the tricks that I found that uh, when it's really cold out you may have to warm up your uh, plastic pipe you want it clear and I like to get it as large a diameter as possible it really works on any uh, size though and the first thing I do is um, I wrap it around a handle if, if it has one, okay? And then I stick it into the bottom. Try to keep it from being able to be pulled out real easily. And then I simply reach down and give it a quick, see it coming? All right. I want to look and make sure I don't have any air bubbles, and I don't. And if you'll notice, once this thing settles down, this level is going to be this level because water seeks its own level. And then I can just run around and measure off of posts or center blocks or anything. Uh, it's really super convenient. Now, say my container is a, uh, a solid color that I can't see through like I can here. Um, all I would do is just take my clear hose and put it up against it and mark it on the outside and that would tell me the level of the fluid on the inside of that that bucket. Uh, let me just quickly show you how easy this is to use in a practical manner. Whenever you're moving this around on the yard by the way, uh, hold this up high or that'll spill out or keep your thumb over it all right and this hose can be any length it can be 10 feet or 150 feet really super convenient once you've set up your pier at the level that you want it at and let it settle down you know uh, just walk around for example say we're in a house and we want to measure off 
all the picture frames on all the walls to be the, the same height, the bottoms to fall. Uh, just mark wherever you want your pictures and then go to the next picture. Let this thing stop bouncing. And when it settles out, it'll be at the exact same height throughout that living room, for example. Super handy. If again, you're building a deck and you bring your four by fours up or your six by sixes and you're gonna cut them off using this, it's a fantastic method. All right, I'll catch you on the next one. Please give me a thumbs up if you like this and share it with people if you would. Let's get those numbers going to the million. I appreciate it. Thank you very much.